My name is Karel Och uh, and I come from Czech Republic. Uh, I work for the Karlovy Vary International Film Festival as the artistic director. Uh, Karlovy Vary International Film Festival is uh, one of the oldest in Europe. It started in 1946 and uh, of course the main part of the history falls into the so-called socialism. So that's the kind of a let's say period we cannot really count as far as the uh, free programming is concerned there was a lot of censorship so in a way the festival has only 20 to 25 years now but uh, uh, it is a classical film festival international one with their own specialized film competition and we also screen documentaries in competition and our main focus is the so-called uh, east of the west countries which is Central and Eastern Europe, uh, the Balkans, uh, Turkey and the former Soviet Union countries. My name is Vizal Molina, I am the director of um, Baboy and um, I'm very happy to be here. It was a very, very fast choice, I didn't have to think twice because uh, I still remember the first time I saw the film, which was in April this year, and it was a very striking experience. Uh, in Karlovy Vary, we are very much interested in first-time filmmakers or filmmakers at the beginning of their careers with a very fresh voice and fresh way to see things and a lot of courage uh, also because you know, the youth equals courage sometimes. And uh, With movies, it's always about uh, the content and form, of course, to say it very simply. And uh, from both points of view, the film is more than satisfying. The story... For me, it's essential, very universal story of a parent and child, basically one of the strongest that you can bring to cinema. But at the same time, um, it's very much up to date, of course, the, about uh, people being forced by different circumstances to leave their homes and to move somewhere else, and, and the consequences of, of such moving and such, uh, such things that happen in your life. And um, what I'm interested in is also the aspect of dignity in the movies, uh, dignity of the characters and characters being put in difficult situations, and, uh, which there are many nowadays, and how they behave. And that brings me to the second part, which is how a film is made. And, uh, I very much liked about Babai uh, the rigorosity of the film, uh, the fact that the director uh, maintained his focus and didn't move an inch to left to right and like that he really made the subject matter even stronger and very much impactful and uh, uh, it's just, uh, I think it's very easy to fall into kind of sentimental approach with this type of story and this is very much different and completely unsentimental and for that very, very strong. Yeah, actually, I started in 2007 with, uh, with the script or writing the script and, um, and it took a very long time till I, till I could finish it also because we were shooting in different countries and also it's my first feature and it was at the beginning very hard to convince people to jump in. And, um, and the film, I was born in Kosovo and I, I moved when I was 15 to Germany and since then I've been living there. And um, the film is very personal but not in the sense that it's my story. But I know very well, or at least I believe to know very well what I'm talking about and I know very well it, at, this atmosphere and the surrounding. And I feel also as a viewer when I see a film, if I don't feel a connection or if I don't know why the people are making it somehow, I mean, with other words, I don't know how to make a film if I don't have a personal connection to it. And, uh, yeah. It took a very long time, this project, so. And, since, and, and I, I collected so many things, uh, like music and words and pictures and everything. And I liked this quote very much because um, I was very, or it, I was trying very much to be aware of, of moral in the film. I mean, not to judge any of the characters, so. And I think this is a very important thing for me in cinema, not to... So. And, um, and this quote, in a way, it was... Um, it, somehow, it, it doesn't matter what, what, you, what kind of childhood you have, it, it will be your childhood, and you will be, in a way, a slave of it. And I like I liked that very much. I like very much the fact that... Um, and it made it much more uh, subjective, you know? I thought about this thing when I thought about my uh, carte blanche choice and uh, I really went uh, for this movie with my heart and I didn't really think about the political connotations and then after when I thought about what the discussion will be about when I come here it 
somehow came to me, oh, this is it's all about that as well. I don't say it's less important in the movie, but it, it says something about the quality of the movie as well, that it doesn't put this uh, very easy political topic uh, in front of the spectator and, you know, going in an easy way. But, uh, of course, it's something which has been for a long time after the fall of communism uh, very much present in the post-communist countries uh, as a, let's say, economic migration, politic migration. And the difficulties nowadays to say what's what and of course things are very much changing and, and uh, I don't know a few days ago I was watching a debate on TV in Czech Republic and I was really surprised how some of the politicians got really really militant and one of them even suggested that if the Greek uh, army uh, shut down a few boats and, and draw them maybe it would be an uh, example for other immigrants not to come so I'm just quoting this as a way where people go with their thoughts and ideas uh, as a consequence of these big, big changes and movements. And I think the, the biggest of this we still have ahead of us. So but, this yeah. movie, as I say, could not be more up to date. But they do it sometimes. They do it. Huh? I, I mean, um, in 2013 there was on German TV um, like a handy um, um, cell phone made video, Greece, uh, police, Shutting down 